Well, well, well. Well, we're here in North Bay again. Didn't want to come to North Bay today, but we're here. And we're going to Canadian Tire. So, got a leak in our car yesterday. And uh, now we're going to come and get a new tire or get it patched. And... Um, or just get a new tire. Or just get a new tire. One of the, one of the, one of the two. Anyway, we didn't want to come. We're hoping for a nice quiet day and and Sunday just lounge around the house and or the RV and do nothing. But here we are at Canadian Tire. So we're gonna go and see what's going on with our car. And uh, we filled it up this morning. It was got had zero psi. Filled up this morning with our little uh, remote uh, charger. Got it up to 38 psi, 40 psi. Overcharged it just a little bit to get us here. Drove the what 20 miles? You say, Missy? 25 miles into town. Uh, just lost a little bit of air, not too much. So I think it's not a fast leak and it still looks like it's holding up okay. So we'll see what the, the boys here at Canadian Tire have to say. A few moments later. All right, well, we had to abruptly end our recording inside of Canadian Tire. The Canadian Tire uh, security <laughs> caught us uh, recording and told us we had to stop. They were nice about it though. But yeah, I can understand uh, why they... Uh, why they do that? Anyway, so that's why we had to abruptly end our last recording. But uh, we got our tire fixed. It only cost us 25 bucks. And uh, we're going to see how long this patch holds for. Hopefully it lasts forever. And uh, they found a nail. So when we were out driving around at the hardware store or at one of the construction areas here in North Bay at Wallace, we may have picked up that, uh, that nail. And Missy's working away packing up the car. So while I'm recording, for some reason that doesn't seem right. I should be packing up the car and she should be recording. But now we're gonna go and find a charging station and some place to get some gas. More moments later. All right, so Missy, we got the car taken care of. Yeah. We're back at uh, the RV at Booth Landing. We're watching. Uh, Eric from Nomadic Fanatic on our YouTube outside of the RV here. It's a beautiful day. The sun's coming out in there from these clouds. I want to give a little shout out to the South River Brewing Company. They got the Scottish Ale. If you uh, haven't checked them out, go and check them out in South River. Uh, I gotta, I gotta stop by there and get more. Yeah, I gotta get some more. And uh, yeah, the Nomad Nomadic Fanatic is done, so we're gonna pause the video. And yeah, we're just sitting here. You know, this is a great little campground. Mm -hmm. The only thing I hate about it is the damn flies. Oh. The, ho the, house, the house flies are like crazy around here. Uh, but it's not too bad. So, uh, yeah, we're just sitting here watching. It's Labor Day weekend. We're, um, we're just kind of mellowing. You know, I think I can take more days like this. <laughs> Although Missy says, if Missy says that, uh, if we decide to retire, we probably go crazy. Yes. I got to slap a fly off my hand over here. Got this dumb fly flying around. So, yeah, Archie's right here. Look at Archie. Hey, Archie, say hi to everybody. No, he's kind of shy. I think uh, I got one dog behind me here. Yeah. Sammy's back there. And Spooky is in his little house over here. We had Separated. To se from we, had, we had to separate the two chihuahuas. They're fighting too much. So yeah, so we're just kind of sitting out here enjoying the Sunday afternoon of Labor Day weekend. And uh, we're going to watch more uh, YouTube videos and maybe watch more of our show on uh, Amazon Prime. Much, much, much later. All right, well, it's uh, maintenance day here in RV land with our three dogs in an RV. I have this wonderful tool here. You may ask me, say, Stuart, what are you going to do with that? Well, I'm going to show you. It's not just a yellow whoopy stick. So we're gonna go. Out, so we're gonna go show what we're gonna do with this, and we're gonna go and uh, I guess uh, I don't know. Go clean something. All right. So one of the jobs of being full time RVers, you have to uh, every once in a while clean the drain. It's not a pretty job, but I drive. I drew the shortest straw, and it's my it's my job to do. So let's. Uh, Let's go clean up the uh, the drain. You know, for those that know Missy well, she's got some beautiful long brown hair. 
And unfortunately, that beautiful long brown hair. Your head is in the way. Clogs up the drain. So we want to see if we can uh, clean up some of the Missy's hair that's clogging up the drain. Oh yeah, you can feel it already in there. One of the jobs of owning an RV that you have to do every once in a while, you gotta clean the drains. So yeah, so um, quick little uh, thing. I think I paid like five, maybe three or three to five dollars uh, at Canadian Tire for this thing. And uh, it's just it was just called a plastic snake, wasn't it? Plastic snake or something like that. Yeah, just simple plastic snake. Yeah. And I also got some screens that I'm gonna put on the. Uh, Put on the uh, Ew, don't use a clean towel. It's not clean, I have to wash those. <sighs> yeah, I can do more laundry. And then I have to uh, put a little screen on there just to keep it uh, from going down the drain. So there's a little RV maintenance, five minutes every once in a while. Clean up the hair out of your uh, drains. All right, the dog's got a new house. Thanks, thanks to, to uh, yeah, thanks to Paul and Shana for uh, the dogs getting a new house, fish. spooky fish house. And Spooky is making it his home. So, and there's Sammy. I often, I'm often told by Missy that I don't get to include the dogs in the uh, video because it is three dogs in an RV, but we don't really show the dogs that much. So, so there's Spooky in his little fish house making it his home. We'll be interested to see if Archie goes into it. But hey, Spook, what do you think of that little fish house? Hey, is that a good little fish house for you? No. Got something new, and plus we picked up this new ottoman today. So, the cool thing about this ottoman is we got it at Canadian Tire, and it's uh, you know, everything in the RV needs to collapse, so it's a collapsible ottoman, and we can store stuff in it. So I don't know if we have anything in it right now. No, so it's empty right now. Oh, it's got a lid, so we got to be careful on that. So we could put the Chihuahuas in it when we go out. No. No, that's not gonna work. Hey, Sammy, what do you think about that? So Sammy's hanging out with his moose pillow. We had to get a little bit of Canadianism into our RV, you know. Archie seems to be liking the new ottoman, and then Spooky's doing his thing around Archie. So yeah, so uh, I don't know if we ever gave a tour of our inside of our of our home, but it's a classic uh, Bounder 35k floor plan. We got the TV with the fireplace here, full residential fridge. Um, and the nice kitchen area here, although I really don't like the way this kitchen's laid out with these, uh, I'd rather have a full-size farm sink. Full-size farm sink, that's right, and a little more uh, counter space. Hey, but it is a gas coach, and there's only so much you can do with a gas coach. Um, our next one we're looking at is going to be a diesel. And what I love about the diesel, this door kind of goes away here uh, behind the seat, and the door is moved to the front of the seat where my office is now and that gives us this whole area here that we can do something with so that's uh that's one of the benefits of a, a diesel pusher a diesel coach over over a gas uh, gas uh, coach but yeah it's a nice little uh, rv it's, it's home it uh, does everything we needed to do uh and we're being here like i said we've been here in uh, ontario canada for the last three weeks and uh, we got another week left and then we're heading um, this time next week we'll be at the bills game super excited you'll be able to see some footage from the bills game against the Steelers, so we're looking forward to that. So, yeah, lots of stuff going on. A little bit of maintenance day today. It's a long Sunday on a long weekend. It's a little hard to get motivated to do actual work around the RV, but we did a little bit. We cleaned up the shower, and uh, we got the few little things. We got the tire fixed on the car this morning. So, yeah, so we're going to enjoy our Sunday afternoon. We've got a new ser series on Missy's Folding Laundry in the back there. we got a new series on... Uh, on Prime that we're watching called Patriot and I saw a new billions come out this morning. So I'm looking forward to catching up on that. 
conscience. All right, so we're making some popcorn on this Labor Day weekend. Got a little bit of hunger on going on, and Missy's over here. Where there's Missy, and guess what's back on Prime? Billions. So that's what we're watching today. We're watching Billions on this Labor Day weekend in our home here, watching Billions because it hasn't been on in what 18 months since COVID started. So I'm super excited that Billions is back on Prime. So. Way to go, Amazon. Thanks for getting our show back online here.